Hello, my name is Al Ackerman. Welcome to the channel. If you like card magic, you've come to the right place. If you love sleight of hand, click on subscribe. Now today I'm going to be doing a routine I came up with about 20 years ago. I called the routine the cipher. Let's take a look. <coughs> Hi Sandy. Hi. Hey, I'd like you to shuffle these cards up. You can shuffle them any way you want. Anyway. Okay. Anyway. Okay, perfect. Okay. That's perfect. I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Does your left thumb work? It does. Okay, good. What I want you to do with your left thumb, take your left thumb and just break the deck open a little bit, peek at a card. So would you do that? Okay. Let's take a peek at one card. You got one? Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. terrific. All right, now we live in the age of cybersecurity. Like if we make an order on the internet, our MasterCard number, it has to get encrypted, go through the public internet, gets to the other side, and then when it gets to the arrival spot, it has to decrypt, and then you get to make your order. All right, so that's how it works. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, give these guys a good mix. I'm going to remove one card that I feel uh, will represent your MasterCard. Okay, one card. Let's see if I can find the one I want to use here. Not that one. Uh, I'm going to use this this one right here. Let's use the nine of spades. Okay. Okay. All right. Now on one side of your master card we have the number, right? On the other side of the card there's a big black stripe on that nine of spades on the back side. And that stripe has your cipher, your encode decode technique. Also has your banking information, also has your identity. So I'm just going to stripe that nine of spades there. It's encoded. It goes across the public internet, arrives. Now we have to decipher it or decode it. All right. Now the way we're going to decode it is uh, spell the name of your card. Let's suppose you selected the six of clubs. All right, six of clubs. Uh, sit, we're going to deal one that's got a first, middle, and last name. Six is the first name, of is the middle, clubs is the last name. We're only going to, my demo here, I'm going to just deal with the first name. We're going to spell one card for each letter. S I X is the normal way you spell six, but this is a secret cipher. You have to misspell it. So I'm going to do something like S I C K, spell sick of clubs. All right? Mm -hmm. Gotta use the wrong number of letters. That's the idea. All right, so would you take that? And I want you to, just the first name now, just misspell the first name of the card. Okay. Use the wrong number of letters. So nobody would have a clue what your card is at that point, because that's not the right information, right? Now we got to deal with the suit of the card. It could have been a heart, correct? Or maybe it could have been a spade or a club or a diamond. Could have been any one of the four suits. Oh, wait a minute. Got the middle name of. I'll do the middle name. O V V. Oof. All right. Now I want you to take those cards, and I want you to misspell the suit of the card. Use the wrong number of letters. All right. So, I guarantee you that's a secret cipher. Thirty seconds ago, you wouldn't even know how many cards would be out there, would you? No. Yeah. I think, though, the cipher did a good job of decrypting the information. Let's see how well it did. This one tells me your card might be a four. This one says, yeah, it probably is a four. This one guarantees me the card you peeked at was a four. What was the card that you peeked at? Four of hearts. Four of hearts. Well, that nine of spades really did find your identity. It's now the four of hearts. Very good. Hey, if you like the effect, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy card magic, make sure you click on subscribe. Now, I published this routine in a 2007 MUM Magic magazine. I got the idea of the, for the plot uh, from Di Vernon. He had an effect called the match spell out. And the idea was somebody selects a card. We got a name of a card. Let's say it was four of clubs. 
and uh, you spell out four words, the four of clubs, making four piles of cards. The last pile had the four of clubs, and the other three had the uh, matching values. And I thought this would be a really fun twist if I could allow the spectator to misspell each one of the words, and this is the solution I came up with. Hope you enjoyed it. My name's Al Ackerman, and I'll catch you next time.